Welcome back to Fifth Third Field. I'm Dan Cummins with Jeff Smith, and we're joined now by Joe Napoli, President and CEO of the Mud Hens, the Walleye, the whole big shebang. This guy's the big kahuna. Hey, what I want to ask you about is, is this is the 21st anniversary of Fifth Third Field opening. And I remember the discussions we had many years ago. The Mud Hens played at tired Skeleton Stadium. You were a young man there. I was a young man there. I first came in 1980. It was covering the Mud Hens. And, and uh, we've come so far. Yeah. Talk about the evolution of, of convincing people to leave Maumee and come downtown. Yeah, you know, it was the uh, converted harness racing track from the 1940s. And uh, it was uh, Ned Skeldon, Henry Morse, and um, uh, I can't remember the, and Monsignor Schmidt yeah. brought baseball back to Toledo. And, and of course, where do we put it? At the Lucas County Fairgrounds. So, uh, and, and the organization did well there for, you know, 40 years. And uh, what happened was it became very tired and old. And when we started to talk about moving downtown, there was about 20% of the community thought we were crazy. And uh, That's being generous. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when we started to talk about uh, the, all the potential of what could happen in and around the ballpark, and then we started to show the community what was happening elsewhere, and suddenly the enthusiasm began to grow. And the Huntington Center comes along, and, and yeah. look at what we are doing yeah. now. Let's yeah. talk a little bit. You were just, you and I off camera, yeah. we're talking a little bit about we, we've had these struggles through yeah. the pandemic trying yeah. to bring baseball back, yeah. trying to bring this resurgence back. Yeah. Where are we with yeah. that? Yeah, we're like one step away. So walleye are, are not only back, they, we shattered the attendance record last year. I think by uh, next year for the Hens, we'll be fully back. What held us back the last couple of years are all the companies that used to come out, their group outings, their summertime activities, and now they're getting back into the swing of things. So I think this year or next, then we'll be back to normal. Dan, we were talking about this yeah. is one of the most experienced teams that the Mud Hens have ever fielded. Yeah, yeah, oh, on the field, um, I think someone mentioned the average age is older than the Guardians. I saw that yeah. article. Yeah, so, uh, so, and let me tell you, Anthony Iaposi, the energy that guy brings to the locker room, and he's so excited about being a first-time manager here. He found, you know, he knows about Toledo. He knows what the energy that our fans bring, and uh, so we are very excited to have him. I think I think he's in love with this yeah. town from just hearing yeah. the interviews with him. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, thank yeah. you so much for yeah. stopping by. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Joe Napoli of the Mud Hands, CEO. Tyler Segerman is upstairs. Let's go to him now for some sports. That's right, Dad. Well, with any baseball game, there's a ceremonial first pitch to take place to kick things off. Well, today we had a big, pretty big superstar. He hails from Toledo, the Toledo Rockets, that is. That's a Quan Finn. He is the quarterback of that team. Obviously, he's got a strong arm, as you know, because he plays some college football and he plays at a high level. He obviously led Toledo to a MAC championship this past season and a bull win as well. And he told me that he's a big baseball fan, although he only played in T-ball, so he was preparing for the ceremonial first pitch today with some practice ahead of time, but he was excited to not only be nominated to do it, but also to be a part of this opening day experience. I was actually excited, you know, when I uh, heard from that I was going to get the first pitch, I was like, oh wow, let's get it. So, uh, you know, lots of joy, you know, lots of excitement, so I'm pretty happy to be here right now. So. Right. Have, do you have any baseball background? Have you played baseball? How are you preparing? Uh, I played t-ball when I was younger, but, uh, you know, I played, uh, well, I had some practices at high school about that, but that was only it for real. Always exciting to see other sports mingled together. Brandon Hawkins was here. He threw out the first pitch for the walleye as well. Of course, they got a game going on tonight, but so cool to see him here in this atmosphere as Toledo football player throwing out the first pitch. Uh, really cool. Oh, we'll look forward to seeing him in the fall as well, coming back to the Rockets. Until then, we'll send it back to you guys at the desk, Dan. All right, Tyler, thank you so much. We are already into the sixth inning. This uh, this new kind of baseball is really moving. Yeah, the pitch clock really keeps it going. And that was what, was what the hope was, and it's actually working, huh? Yeah, let's throw it back to uh, Amanda in the studio. Amanda? All right, very good, guys. Thank you so much.